What's happening, y'all? It's your man Sam and here at Viral Hip Hop News. Listen, do me a favor. You see the brother right now on your screen. Go down to my description box and follow Chakra Doctor at Chakra Doctor TV on YouTube. Your only place to find miracles you won't put down. Grab the House of Lazenberry series by author Daniel Webb since his controversial interview at the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. The books can't stay on the shelf. Grab the series, The House of Lazenberry, The House of Lazenberry 1970H, and The House of Lazenberry, A Time to Hill. Link in the description box hey. now homage to that and as long as we honor that we're gonna be able to make money until we desire prep. you know what i'm saying yeah. facts facts on that i want to talk about diddy still real quick because obviously he has um i think he got an exclusive uh label deal with motown where he has love records coming out and diddy's not <laughs> dumb and we know r&b is lacking in particular male r&b so i got a pretty good feeling some r&b is gonna come out of that john Best advice you can give that potential male R&B singer that may be coming through Diddy because obviously y'all did business with him before y'all still cool with him now. And he has a bad reputation from the outside looking in when it comes to the music industry um, in particular. What, what's some advice you can give to that, that artist that may be coming down the pike on Love Records um, on how to maneuver in this game? You know what? I, I would just tell them to um, really take their craft seriously and know exactly who you are as an artist. You know what I'm saying? And never lose focus of that. You know, the great thing about Puff is the fact that once you know that, all he does is put steroids into that. So, um, and you know, and I go front, like, if you were from the 90s, anybody's first, first, um, con their first contract, if you sign your first contract, it was not favorable to the artist. So, so let, let, let me just say that too. So uh, I guess a lot of people just, Focus on Puff or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But in truth, anybody that came out in the 90s, their first, pro if they, they came out on their first uh, contract, it wasn't favorable to the artist. Now, what you did afterwards now depends on you. Hmm. Now, if you, if you look at the uh, history of 112 situation, 112 was very, very aware, full aware, and, uh, aware of what type of contract we signed. So, it was not one of those situations where, you know, we cried about it or whatever. We put together a plan and we executed. That's why it, it was no, it, there was no um, uh, mistake or just some, oh man, something just happened that after the third project, which came up with peaches and cream and everything, man, we're counting how many masters we turned in. We know exactly what's going on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And then like uh, my brother Mike said, you know, it was no no type of secret to it. Like our relationship with Puff may be different from everybody else. We were able to talk to him. And then let me say this too. You know, you're talking to two guys that actually have our publishing. You know what I'm saying? Mm. A lot of the reasons that is also business. Okay. So let me just give a one on one to all artists, of, you know what I'm saying, writers and whatever, you know what I'm saying, producers. If you don't want to be stuck in the current, uh, publishing pub deal is simple. Don't extend or sign another one to extend your your pub contract because what then happens is is they just put an amendment to the the contract that you signed. You see what I'm saying? So, like I said, in the in the case of one twelve, one twelve, we really didn't have to real you. We didn't have to. Well, I, let me let me just speak of myself. After having five, you know, very successful projects, and then you have uh, um, very successful touring tours and stuff like that, or whatever, I, you know, and I was blessed to have like a, a successful solo career. I didn't have to sign. Why would you sign a pub deal when you really didn't need that? And, it, and it, at the end of the day, you want your pub. You see what I'm saying? You're signing it away somebody. You're signing your situation away. It's like they're renting long term for your pub so don't sign another one and as time goes on time is on your side it's chestnut checkers mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and just know the contract that you're signing so yes mike and i mike and i we have our pub you know what i'm saying and we so and you know so the 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 importance of owning your brand knowing your brand owning your brand we 112 is owned by 112 you know what I'm saying? So it's like we're in control of ourselves. You know what I'm saying? Like I even own my name. You know what I'm saying? That means right. a lot. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like, you know, um, 
Treat yourself as a business because you are a walking business. Are you putting your success um, behind some label? You're expecting a label to take you to success or are you going to roll the dice on yourself? You know what I'm saying? And it doesn't matter. 112, Mike and I, we have this mind frame that you could put us anywhere and we'll be able to survive. And not only to survive, we're going to adapt and we're going to take her. We're going to take over. We're going to conquer it. So that's that's the whole mind frame of 112. We have no excuses. We're not going to give them, you know, uh, Puff is a brother, is a brother to us, you know what I'm saying? Because he gave us the opportunity. And you know what I mean? And just like him, we learn from the best. We watched him take, take risk himself. Mm -hmm. I remember him personally not agreeing with the uh with an exec that paid him. And he sided with us, even though we were told what was going to happen. You understand? Like, mm -hmm. and so we we understood, we understood, like, okay, but at this part, this is our part of our life. And at the end of the day, we respect him wholeheartedly. And he respects us. And that's the reason why we're brothers and friends to this day. Oh, and, and which, you know what I'm saying, the project that he's out, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Allegedly, we might be a part of it. That's why. Yeah. yeah can, I, can, I, can, I, can I chime in on that too, man? Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Slim said something that resonated with me, man. It, it's it's at, as far as as artist is concerned, and we wanna we wanna try to dispel as much of that stigma about how hard it is to work with Puff and all this other stuff, man. Honestly, yeah. I wouldn't have it any other way, bro. You know what I mean? Because honest, if 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 the dude took it easy on us, we would have taken the easy route, man. And who knows where our career would have been at this point, man. You know that I like the <laughs> fact that, like, if you know, a lot of people ask us all the time, man. Did Puff tell y'all y'all had to go get some cheesecake from Junior? I said, no, nah, he 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 wasn't on that. He wasn't on that vibe at the time. However, had he said that shit, we would have. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And we wouldn't have. It wouldn't have been no TV show, uh, you yeah. know, around it. We would have just went and did it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because that was what's, what was required of us, man. Um, I don't know if y'all guys are, are familiar with, and, and I'm going back to my, you know, to my comic groups or whatever, but I don't know if y'all are familiar with uh, Star Wars and any Star Wars lore and mythos or anything like that, but you got yeah. the Jedi and you have the Sith, right? Mm -hmm. The Sith has this rule of two, right? Where the 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 dude, the, the head dude, he runs everything, and the second dude, his whole, uh, his whole mission is to surpass the dude that's in front of him, mm -hmm. right? So you learn from underneath Puff with the mindset and the goal that eventually I'm going to surpass him in my world. You know what I mean? And you you become the teacher and then you you get another student and so forth and so forth. It's called the rule of two. And um, that's, you know, that's just kind of like the mind frame that we had to have, you know, and, and anybody has to have when you're dealing with in, in business, you got to have this rule of two. All right. This is this is the, the CEO. But my mission is to become a CEO myself and surpass the CEO that put me on in the first place. You know what I'm saying? So that was the, the whole mind frame that 112 had. And it's no love lost because the understanding is you're supposed to be better than me. You're supposed to surpass me. You're supposed to, you know, do this, this, that and the other. Now, Puff. His whole gift was the fact that he was able to, you know, touch different genres and different brands and stuff. Like 112 was strictly on that music. You know what I'm saying? Like if we wanted to venture out and do that other business stuff, like, yeah, absolutely. We could do that. But we wanted to, like Slim said, we want our star on that walk of fame. And we know that in order to do that, you have got to, to be music oriented. You know what I'm saying? We have got to focus on that music. Man. So that's where we are with it. Man. It's, it's the rule of two. You still with us, brother? Uh, the audio seemed to go out a little bit. Okay, no, no, it's all good. It's all good. We're in the building with Mike and